Hey there, Hofstra fans. I'm Mark Wiener here with head women's basketball coach Krista Kilburn Stavesky. Coach, basketball almost here. We released the men's schedule. Let's release yours. All right. So uh, it's going to be a fun, exciting season. We have a uh, tell you how to get Hofstra tickets soon as well. You can get season tickets to the women's team for seventy-five dollars for the entire season, or men's and women's tickets for one hundred and eighty dollars. So you get all games, all home games for both Hofstra basketball teams. One hundred and eighty dollars. HofstraTickets.com. But first, let's tell you when they're going to play. You guys open up the season November 6th against Iona here at the Nike Sports yeah. Complex. They were just 2-28 and 28 last year. Hofstra's 8-9 all time against them. They haven't beaten the Pride since 08. They haven't been to Hempstead or won in Hempstead since 1993. So the Mac wasn't even built the last time they won right. here. Should be a fun opening game. Well, Billy is amazing, obviously. Just a great relationship with her. And we all go through that type of season where she's had – you know, one of the best players in the country, Demica Martinez, forever, and then they all graduate, and Joy graduates. Um, Joy Adams was a great player for her, and she just really had to start all over, so I can remember that, um, you know, back in my, you know, seven, eight year. So she, they will be uh, way much improved, absolutely no doubt, and it'll be a fight, so I just have a lot of respect for her. And I, was, I was saying to Coach Mahalligan in the first yeah. uh, video that we did, you guys will have a double header. Normally it's a, your first game right. as well, but at least you guys have a warm up to have the next game, and the next game will be on November 9th. Again, a doubleheader with the men's team. You guys start at 5 o'clock against local rival Columbia, yeah. an Ivy League team. They were just 8-21 and last year, uh, but it's a return game for them. You guys beat right. them 75-53 to last season. No, they got us last season. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's Columbia okay. did win. My yeah, game. no, that's okay. They got us last season, and, uh, you know, we, we have several games that are marked on our schedule, but that definitely is one of them. Uh, played well, you know, played without Boogie, played without Makai Krosky. They were both sitting out. But, uh, you know, just uh, was holding our own really well and then really got ourselves in a lot of foul trouble. I'll get that third quarter. So just getting ready, you know, to take care of business with them. You know, I knew I should have learned to read before I got here. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> the next game. Okay, we, know, we got a mark who we want to beat. <laughs> There's a lot of them. I'm <laughs> sure want to every, them. you want to beat everybody. <laughs> That's right. So the next game will be against local rival. This is always the, one of the most fun mm. games of the season. The second best team on Long Island, the Stony Brook Sea Wolves. You'll go there this time, eight, 18 and 12. Last season, they lost in the first round of the American East tournament. Well, yeah, mm, definitely that that one's probably like marked, highlighted, and uh, you know, ton like a, like an English teacher days with me. You know, marked a lot in red. So just gotta take care of business. You know, talk is cheap right now. We gotta take care of business with them, and uh, you know, they do a great job. She's turned that program around. So it's just time for us to uh, you know be be who we are. Is that a game that is a little bit extra oomph just because of the rivalry and all that stuff? Yeah, I mean, we 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 had a buzz saw here. Um, you know, I think we, had, you know, had, uh, we had beaten them, you know, the years prior. I think we underestimated them a little bit, and I don't think anybody expected that. And kudos to them. They fought, they fought, they fought. And uh, Geo is a, a sharp little point guard they had that, uh, you know, we recruited here as well. And, and she's a competitor, and, and she played great, and really led her team. So, yeah, it's, it's certainly marked. So, the next game uh, will be a fun road trip. It's a long bus ride up to St. Bonaventure mm -hmm. on November 17th. Last year, 8-22 and 22 overall. Hofstra did beat them last season. I got that right. 71-68. Yeah. First trips to women's basketball to St. Bonaventure since 1993. Yeah. Wow. Um, first of all, Jesse uh, does a great job. He was battered and bruised with injuries like we were last season as well. That was a great comeback win. Um, if you remember here, that was a, that was a Lauren Burkowski boogie, right? So... Uh, Brzezowski, so it was her um, first game uh, to play uh, along with Makai Krosky and uh, Sika Kuzik played really well in that game here too. So they have that one marked for sure um, because we took away from them. We scored a bunch of quick six eight points still by uh, Aliana Leon and came back and we, we really kind of hurt them the last minute and a half of that game and, and, and took the win. So uh, we'll be aware, aware, well aware uh, that I know we're highly marked and highlighted on their schedule for, uh, for them to try to get us back and playing on the road up there in that place in the middle of nowhere. Uh, you know, we're down 10 already, so let's roll. <laughs> I mean, I've been up there. It is. Yeah. You know, fans are right yeah. on top of you. We're down there. 10 already. <laughs> <laughs> so the next one in on the schedule, it's a three-game set, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, of the 23rd, 24th, and 25th yeah. of November, the Nashville tournament. So that's interesting. You guys get to go down to Nashville. That's right. A, a great city, obviously, to be in. What, what, can, what do these tournaments kind of do for your team? Well, hey, we were in Vegas last year. Now we're in Nash, Nash Vegas, as they call it down there. Um, just a great, you know, opportunity to play on a neutral court, uh, to play, you know, teams that have had, a, a, you know, Maris has had a ma massive history in the NCAA. So just to be able to play on a neutral court, get, get folks away, you know, for the holiday. A lot of parents and, and supporters coming to that game. Uh, 
several of my parents are already leading the charge and, and so we'll have a lot of, of support down there. Uh, but I just think it's a great experience for these young ladies, uh, you know, to, to go away and play in a tournament. I think that the whole city is going to be filled with, you know, those eight or nine other teams plus, you know, playing in different tournaments around Nashville. So it'll be just a great experience. I know when you guys go away, you like to do something special away, mm -hmm. especially a cool town like Nashville. You have anything <laughs> planned? Obviously, you'll be there for the Thanksgiving holiday. Yeah, no, definitely been figuring about that. We're literally staying about one block from Broadway. That's enough excitement, uh, uh, you know, to begin with. But, you know, certainly the... Uh, Opryland is always a, a nice experience for these young ladies and you know living raised in Georgia and uh, you know the, the height of country music so I think we'll definitely you know find something to give them a new experience that they might not have you know sought out on their own especially in the in the country music uh, genre. <laughs> well there is basketball games to be played, oh, yeah, so let's yeah. talk about those. Gotta win those. You have to have fun too but <laughs> exactly. you have to win on the court as well. It's gonna be a tough test. You have Wright State up first 23 and 11 last year yeah. lost on the Horizon Finals they went to the WNIT. Well, that's why I said you're playing these top teams with, uh, you know, maybe not a storied history for us with Wright State, but for the, for the team at Hofstra, but we know uh, as a coaches well, what they have done there. Um, so that's kind of why I mentioned Wright State and I mentioned, you know, Maris in their past. So, um, and playing Stetson. So, yeah, I mean, that, that one, uh, again, you get them on a neutral court and, you know, and, and it's definitely anybody's ball game. And Maris, uh, very similar team to Wright mm -hmm. State. They lost in the MAC final, also made it the yeah. WNIT and lost in the first round. Then Stetson, another good team, made the WBI. They were 17 and 15 last season. Yeah, I mean, you know, people get called up in like in, a, in the type of BCS, uh, you know, name. For us, these are, you know, top level teams that, you know, put a hurting on BCS teams. Um, and it's just gonna be incredible competition for us as, as we're preparing, or our whole purpose of playing a non-conference challenging schedules to make you be able to attack your, you know, your conference foes and, and be able to, to play at the level we need to play to, to win, you know, all the games are important, but, you know, your conference schedule is extremely important. And speaking of the conference schedule, how mm -hmm. much does this tournament prepare you for the mm -hmm. conference tournament, the three yeah. games in three days kind of thing? Exactly, right? What are we, 2, 2, 2.30, 2 2.30, 12, something like that, 12 noon starts? Um, you know, definitely, you know, three, you know, <laughs> three games in, in three days, and, uh, you know, you see what your mental preparation, all this postseason, summer, mile runs and red zones and everything else under the sun, you know, in the pool, on the sand, what, you know, everything we've been trying to do for our, our mental aspect that, uh, you know, really kind of, kind of just, again, helps, you know, shape that as you're, you know, you're targeting your, you know, your season. And just uh, four days later, back mm -hmm. home, finally, uh, it's two games at home, then a yeah. bunch of games on the road, then back home against right. Sacred Heart. They were 14 and 17 last year. You guys beat them in a Double overtime thriller, 86 to 81. That was a fantastic game. You have to expect more of the same this year. Well, it's fun. And, you know, it tells a lot about Jess Minetti, who obviously was an assistant coach for me here. Um, you know, it, 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 first of all, she, she doesn't, she's just like me. She'll play anybody. And, and for her to, you know, get us on the schedule early, we scrimmaged one time and then now we've been playing each other. And uh, that one was crazy. Uh, you know, Alexis Davis had a highlight reel on that game and uh, just came down to possession by possession and, and Liv hits a three to put us in the second overtime. So, I, I, again, I'm sure Jess has a lot of games marked, but uh, coming home and here in Hofstra, I'm sure that one's a highlight for them. So we got to be prepared. The only good thing is that we know that game wasn't easy, so we're going to be coming off this road swing um, in Nashville and have to really gear ourselves back up to a tough, tough, well-coached, you know, Sacred Heart team. And that ends of the November schedule, so now Ooh. we head. I know. Like we need a break. In November, yeah, need a break. Coffee break. <laughs> Water break. We go to December, Time December fifth uh, at Holy Cross uh, mm. at a seven o'clock. They were thirteen and eighteen last year. Went to the second <laughs> round of their tournament of the Patriot League. He has some common themes to a lot of these games because uh, again, I think they underestimated us out here, and uh, you know we played very well in that game. Um, so it's, it's kind of, I'm going to sound like this broken record here on Facebook Live today because I feel like they got that game marked as well. So, you know, uh, we know, you know, for me, I'm excited about these games on the road because that, that's like kind of the true character of your team, you know, having to win road games. So, uh, you know, going up there is going to be, uh, it's going to be a tough one. So it'll, you know, they will be ready for us and, and we'll be ready for them at that time. We definitely have a lot of things under our collar to be ready to play them, you know, at Holy Cross. And that next game will be on Sunday the 9th at the team that nobody knew who they were last year. Now yeah, everyone knows yeah. who they are at UMBC. Right. Obviously, the men's team exactly. was the Darlings. That was a 16 upsetting the one. Right. The women's team 5-26 and 26 last year, and you guys beat them on the yeah. home floor. Yeah, that was our exciting home opener here. Um, 
again, now those freshmen that were really good for them are, are now sophomores. Um, you know, he, he didn't lose, uh, you know, too much um, and at their place. And I think it's a one o'clock tip down there. So uh, just, uh, you know, will be a homecoming for several of our players. We have a pretty strong Maryland DC contingent, even out of the freshmen, because we have Jaquela um, Brown, who's, uh, who's from that area. Bree Crutchfield's from that area. Sean Mills is from that area. Then you got Lex and you got Micaiah and you got Jalen Hines who was out all last year. So a huge, huge, you know, Maryland DC contingent. So uh, definitely have the fans on our side. Uh, so for, for that one, hopefully it'll feel like a home game and we'll take care of business. And the last road game of the non-conference slate at Siena on the 21st of December, the Friday, last game before Christmas. They were 17 and 14 overall, also made it to the second round of the MAC tournament. Yeah, you know, uh, again, I don't want to sound like a broken record, right? <laughs> but, um, you know, just, you know, gearing ourselves up for, uh, you know, what, what we're playing all this non-conference, you know, games for, uh, you know, to have us, have us uh, ready. So uh, we did not have a good showing, if you recall, here on that place. They did a good job with their trapping and pressing the entire game. Played us in, you know, kind of a, a match-up, mix-up zone quite often. Took us off our heels a little bit. So a couple kids on their team were local or close to New Jersey products. So all these, all these factors that affect us. So you know you can tell that we're pretty well versed in, in what what we're going to be uh, having to prepare. You know to get us ready. So you know we've got we've got all these games marked on our our schedule as well. We want to we want to do play much better in Siena with the winning take care of itself. And one final tune-up before the end of the season, Saturday the 29th, before yeah. the end of this year, Wilmington University comes to the MAC. They were just six and 22 last season, so obviously it could be a trap game. You see six and 22 on their on their record, and you say, "Ah, we'll beat them," but you know it, yeah. it's an important game for the conference schedule. Yeah, this this was a little bit of a of a mental a mental uh, hit with us because we needed a game. If you saw when we end, when we play again, really hard to try to get folks to come in here um, for that game. But we, we needed a game, you know, to get us ready in an important game, and they're very well coached. They're going to be extremely eager. You know, a lot of times you play teams like that, it go it makes them feel like they want to win their national championship, so, you know, against us. So, you know, it, 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 it sometimes that can be even a lose-lose when you win. So, you know, we need to, we need to not, not let that be a trap game, as you stated. And that is the conference schedule, uh, the non-conference schedule. Then we move yeah. to the conference schedule. Let me read off. The non-conference again for the fans in case they didn't hear me the first time. Okay. It'll be Iona and Columbia on the 6th and the 9th of November at home to begin the conference slate. Again, that game on the 9th is a doubleheader with the men's team, so a 5 o'clock start for Columbia. Then half an hour after that game, the men's team will tip off in their home opener and season opener. Then at Stony Brook and St. Bonaventure and at St. Bonaventure on the 13th and the 17th. Then the Nashville tournament. You play Wright State, Marist, and Stetson the 23rd, 24th, and 25th of November, finally Sacred Heart to end November at, on the 29th, then in December at Holy Cross on the 5th, at UMBC and at Siena, and then Wilmington at home on the 29th, a Saturday here at the Max Sports Complex, and yeah. overall, just what do you think of this non-conference schedule, Coach? You know, it might not look um, dazzling because it's not, whether it's a lower tier ACC or this, it's very highly well coached top tier upper mid major um, teams that, like you just read, <coughs> go to their conference tournament, uh, either play in the finals, win the finals, go have a history of going to the NCAA, um, and I and then the on the on the road challenge. So for me personally, I think it. I, I I've, you know, we always say what we want. I feel like this prepares us way better than last year and the year before for conference because of the slate of the competition of playing them away. So, you know, um, just us continuing to be competitive night after night and consistency is what we're hitting, trying to hit out of the ballpark right now. Uh, we're consistent, we're competitive, you know, we're, we're doing well on that slate, but it is very challenging. It's beyond games we can take care of, uh, but it is a top, you know, really top tier upper you know, upper mid-major programs that, you know, um, that are going to challenge us. So I think that's probably the, the overview, uh, and I'm excited. And, and it was, you know, we, we've done, we scheduled, we scheduled this way with this group. We get, we're junior laden with, with Boogie and Sika as our seniors, uh, strong freshman class, and I'm just excited to start tipping that thing up soon. And again, we'll remind you, go to HofstraTickets.com for your Hofstra women's yeah. basketball season tickets. Those are $75. And if you want men's and women's tickets to home, tickets to all home games, 
that's $180. That's a great deal for this season. You get to see a lot of good basketball for just a low price of $180. Right. And get some floor seats too, right? You can get floor seats yes. for men and women too. You can contact. You definitely need floor seats for women. So we need people to uh, be sitting on the floor for us. Contact HofstraTickets.com. All the other contact information yeah. is there for you to call the box office and whatnot. Now, after this non-conference schedule, yeah. this is where the real season starts. <laughs> College of yeah. William & Mary and Elon come here to the Max Sports Complex January 4th and 6th. That's a Friday and a Sunday. That's the schedule that you're really waiting for. Aren't exactly. You? I mean, you don't take lightly or tread lightly. Uh, you just want the preparation to be there. You want our mental aspect to be there. Um, so, you know, you've got a very good College of William & Mary that uh, you know, he has his kids ready, and then you got Charlotte, who's had back-to-back -back, uh, CA championships. Uh, just what an incredible job she has done, and we have them home that first weekend. So, uh, you, everybody understands, but I, don't, I think when they go through it, I think as juniors now, you know, what is the difference? What is the difference about conference? They know you better than you know yourself at times. Our league is extremely well coached. Uh, so they're going to try to take away everything that we do. And I think that as juniors and seniors, you know, our mindset has to understand that even a lot more clearer uh, of how we have to play to beat, you know, some of these top teams in our conference here. Well, all of them, but even from the top down. How do you think your team stacks up this season? You know, I think that, uh, I think our, our team feels really good about who and what we are right now compared, it has not even anything to do with the record of the last two years. I feel like, um, you know, they are competent. Um, they've had small little milestone hurdles that we've overcome here all since March. Um, you know, we had, uh, you know, my assistants did a great job in the postseason, and then in the summer we had five weeks of intense training. You know, everybody works hard, but we definitely tried to work a little different um, and just to work on that and that change in that mental mindset. So I feel like that aspect, um, they are, but now then you get faced with those challenges and how we hit adversity. Um, but you know, hoping as juniors that they, they handle that adversity, you know, a lot better. But but I think they know they can push themselves further than they've ever thought, and uh, you know that 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 willingness to not ever give up, no matter what the odds are. I think that's a little bit more clearer than ever. So, to needless to say, very excited about our group. Very excited about our group, and uh, you know, everybody's understanding their roles. Uh, as that starts to go forward right now, the freshmen will start to understand their roles and, uh, you know, really try to play into our strengths. You know, there's a lot to be excited about yeah. this year on both yeah. sides of the basketball. We'll remind you one more time, uh -huh. HofstraTickets.com, $75 for your season slate of women's basketball, 180 for both men's and women's basketball. Again, HofstraTickets.com. Coach, it's just two months away, less than two months oh. now. The 6th of November, a Tuesday against Iona. 7 o'clock right here at the Max Sports Complex. Then the Friday, that same Friday the 9th against Columbia. Home, 5 o'clock for the women's team. Then right after for the men's team. It should be a fun Hofstra basketball season, Coach. Thanks so much. Oh, thank you. I'll end with one aspect, too. You know, the team came up in the offseason and said, you know, we is greater than me. And they've really been sticking to, uh, you know, just a statement. And that was really all on, on their own. So I think you're going to see an exciting up-tempo brand of basketball with this group, you know, we want to score quick. We want to put pressure and have defense. So I think you'll see it. just a great brand of that. And just, I'm just excited. You know, been down this road, had a ups and downs, and you know, now it's our upswing. Is we're really excited about our upswing this year. All right, Coach Chris Kill, Brent Stavesky, thanks so much. And again, HofstraTickets.com, and let's get ready for some basketball. Go Pride.